everyone. So today we're going to calculate a covariance and correlation matrix or matrices on stock returns. So just like in our last video, we're pulling our data from Quando. And today we're just going to be looking at the 2017 to 2018 time period. And keep in mind, I've excluded the ticker argument here because I want to look at all the tickers in this data set. So the data frame that we're looking at is called DF. So how do we calculate this and why is it important? Well, a covariance and correlation matrix will help us in determining the entire portfolio variance and look at it holistically. So to do this, all we're going to do is look, take our data frame and say .cov. And there we go. There's our covariance matrix. And so how to, how to interpret this is, remember, we're just looking at the covariance between two different types of asset returns. So the covariance between Apple and Apple is just the variance, if you remember that. And if you look diagonally here, this is the variance for all these assets. So the covariance, for example, between Caterpillar and Caterpillar is obviously the variance and the covariance between General Electric and General Electric is the variance. So that's the variance in the diagonal form. Everything else is a covariance. We've seen, for example, Caterpillar and a Apple. So that's a covariance matrix. We can also create a cover uh, correlation matrix and it's just the same thing quite, quite easily. That's your And there's our correlation matrix. This is just a little more intuitive to see. So we can actually see that the correlation between Apple and itself is just one. The correlation between General Electric and itself is just one. So you can see that in the diagonal form here. And everything else is a correlation between its other, other asset. So that is a correlation. And if we are actually interested in calculating a plotting this, we can just take df.core. But maybe we want to look at just Apple. And we can look at that. And there we go. We can look at the correlation between Apple and all these other assets. But we can also plot this so it's a little easier to see. I'm going to say dot nine equals bar. And there it is. There we go. We can plot the correlation amongst uh, all the other securities. So obviously, correlation with Apple in itself is just one, but we can see the correlation with Verizon and DuPont, I, think, I believe that is, uh, is very low. So, and Coca Cola is very, very low. So, that is correlation, correlation matrix. In our next video, we're going to use this in helping us build out portfolio variance and understanding the entire volatility, of, <clears throat> excuse me, volatility of the entire portfolio. So, till next.